Cards. Either way, welcome to my floor. I'm Luna and I play games here sometimes. And I'm gonna jump straight into continuing uh, Mam's story quest because I am. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Should have done this beforehand, but I thought I wasn't satisfied with how my Okay. Let's go. So uh, even if it's not like even if it's at C zero, at least I have a Hello Tezuk. How are you doing on this fine Friday evening? I was like, what day, what day is it? What time is it? <laughs> You're hungry? Please go get some food. I've just eaten, so I am awfully full. But please get food. That's more important. I am fine, I think. I took some medicine this morning. I've been feeling fine since, so I should be good. Uh, but yes. <laughs> okay, but leave me. Go get food. It's fine. Oh, there's a thunderstorm. Oh, I forgot to change the sound. Whatever. Okay, we'll, we'll do that after this. Yes, go get food. Um, ah, it's you two again. I must say, you look a bit pale. Did you have trouble sleeping last night? Um, a little bit? Perhaps if you had less on your mind, you'd be able to absolve yourself of such troubles. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Just to be able to, like, turn off your mind. Go to sleep. So, what are you planning to do now? Catch up on some sleep? Or should I give you some time to rack, it rack your brain for a topic to discuss before I ask any questions? Although I must profess to being curious, without child here, how do you plan to distract me? Hi, Eilery! Oh my god, it's been so long! Thank you, thank you. Oh, you haven't seen my hair? Anyway, yes, hi! Thank you. It's not very red anymore, but please, it's a bit. Oh my god. How are you doing? How are you? You're off tonight! Ah, we should have a call after this. Sorry. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> um, anyway, ma'am. <laughs> no, no, I don't mean for this. I meant just like in general, it's been too long. Because we our schedules are weird. I've not seen it. Well, I hope you like it. It was this instead of blue. Uh, but yeah, because like our schedules are so weird. We end up like doing things in opposite times, and I, I miss calls. I miss just all of it. I miss you, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, she knew. I know you like red. You are a very red person. And I mean, I'm matching my shirt, I guess. Um, how are you doing, by the way? Um, so she knew we were distracting her. Us? It's not you? <laughs> Good one. But no, um, we were just here for a chat. I mean, honestly, I will take her for a date. It's okay. I'm matching. I wanted to, like, put on, like, makeup and stuff and make myself pretty for, for early Kino. I, my, my date didn't go quite as planned. <laughs> but, you know. You won't wait, cry. Are you okay? Did you have a tough day? Um. I am good. I had, had a fever yesterday, though, which is why I didn't stream. Your matchmaking in one game is bullshit? What does that mean? Explain. I am curious, cry. Um. Here for a chat. 
Hmm, looks like you could have used some extra time to think. No matter. If you don't have any plans, why don't you accompany somewhere? Yes! Oh no, you have bad people on your team. That's not nice. That is always... That always sucks. That's one of the reasons I, I have a hard time with multiplayer games. And yeah, fever, not great. But I do feel better today, so... So dips. Um, don't worry, I'll be sure to steer clear of my any scheming children. I love her. I like her so much. Uh, <laughs> it's not a good thing, I think. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> oh, the ocean breeze is sure nice today. Sure is, Paimon, in the middle of this thunderstorm. So, you know everything then. Children. <laughs> Children always think they can hide things from the grown ups. But nothing gets past me. Least of all, a little scheming. I think I'll let them have at it for a little longer. You can be very patient. I'm sure you can! <laughs> well, I'll leave you to think things over. If you're so inclined, meet me on site at Calais Melonia. <clears throat> uh, yeah, the, the storm is definitely uh, by, by chance. Cry? No, we can share. No, no. And Lakina's not just yours. She, she gets to choose herself. <laughs> she will belong to as many people, people as she, she chooses. Uh, good thing... Good things come to children who do as they, they're told. But I do hope you decide to tag along. Yes, you got her! I'm so... I was about to say jealous, but I mean, I got her too, so I'm... I'm yay! I'm glad for you. You won pity? I lost... I went to hard pity to get her. Um, I got Tinari <laughs> first, so you know, that happened. Thanks! Yeah, I got her. Um, <coughs> also, sorry if I'm coughing. I think I got broccoli stuck in my throat. Um, so, so I do ho hope you decide to tag along, if only for your friend's sake. He shows, Tinari shows stuff on Sumeru's Minmi map. That is, that is nice, yeah. That is useful. What should we do? Well, we go along. He clearly knows that about everything we've been doing. And Paimon doesn't think it would be a stretch to say she was threatening us just now. Uh, we should release the pigeon that Linne gave us. Pigeon? It's the pigeon of... Carol. <laughs> I was about to say pigeon of panic. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, good idea. Hopefully he sees it in time. Well, we should probably head to the Palimermonia. Paimon doesn't want to find out what happens if we don't show up. Based on what the Nave was saying just now, it sure didn't seem like it'd be anything good. I don't think we have one of the options. Okay, then we probably shouldn't keep her waiting. Seems like the Nave and the others aren't the nice. Let's do our best to not get them in any more trouble. Yes. Okay, look. Ah! Sorry, I get out of cutscenes and I see her and I get happy. <laughs> uh, now... Um... Yeah. I'll do this. There we go. Uh, so where were we going? This is where. I uh, currently am at level forty with her, which means I can't use her for anything. But I, I realized I needed some, like I need to unlock something like the boss by doing a quest. So I'm guessing that's one of the goals of the boss as well to get to there, so I can build her. <laughs> Seeing as we still have some time before my meeting, we might as well enjoy some pleasant conversation while we wait. Your meeting. 
have Star Rail codes for me? That's so nice, Cry. I still haven't downloaded it though. <laughs> I should at some point, but it's like I I struggled updating Genshin at the moment, so um I'll figure out a way to solve it at some point, but that's so nice of you. Um also who is you her meeting? Child? I'm glad to see you get along with my children. Being surrounded by good companions is necessary for a child's development. Yeah, but they are teenagers as well, so you know, not that. You're not planning on doing anything to them, are you? I assume you're referring to Linny, Lynette, and Femine. Although there's that situation with Filiol, Filiol, and Nanteuli. Yeah, I also had to, like, I spent like an hour, maybe two, trying to figure out how I could clear things enough that I could download Genshin. <laughs> uh, so, you know. <laughs> or, like, update it, I mean. Cause I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My computer is not that big. The little laptop um, as well. Mm. It appears quite a few people have been acting out with. No matter. I'm not one to discriminate. All those who betray the house meet the same fate. There are no exceptions. Does that mean you're going to kill them? Oh? Are you here to be beg for their lives? I'm sorry to disappoint, but the rules of the house change for no one. In my organization, everyone is responsible for their own actions. Yeah, but you still care about them. But... Do you care about them at all? She does. They really respect you. They even call you father. You must feel something for them. Yeah. Any organization in which fe in which feelings become come before principles is one destined for ruin. The house of the hearth is hardly an exception. You could say our principles are more stringent than most. Perhaps I can offer you a dis consolation at le at least. As our guests, you two will not be held accountable along the way. That's not really... I mean, if you want to attack us, that's fine. Uh, there's really no other way to resolve the issue? I would imagine Linny, Lynette, and Femine will be able to keep their lives. As for Filiol Nantuli? Nantuli, or whatever. And the others. I'm afraid there's little I can do. They can try to escape, but once you know our secrets, there's no getting out alive. But that's... that's awful! Ah, oh, you seem concerned. Out of consideration for my guests, I suppose I could turn a blind eye for a little longer. If Lene and the others manage to dispose of Clairvy in the meantime, all evidence of their wrongdoings will be lost. In that case, I could ho hardly punish them for something I couldn't prove. See? She does care. If their efforts are unsuccessful, on the other hand, all will be held accountable, and the punishment will be severe. It's a deal, then. Of course. Oh, and here. I believe this belongs to you. Try to keep a better track of it next time. It's a bird! It's the birdie! She got it in the- Ooh! Why is that so cute? You're losing brain cells? From your team members or from my Paimon voice? <laughs> <laughs> I won't judge if it's the Paimon voice. Um, it takes teams. I got it. Yeah. Collaboration with others isn't always the most fun. I hate it. Like when you needed to do group work in school as well. Yeah. No, thank you. <sighs> it's not the most fun. I get it. I hope it goes well anyway. And I hope they behave. Um... It takes considerable amount of time to train a bird like this. It would be such a pity if you were to lose it. Permanently. I.e. don't try to contact them or I will kill the bird. Wait, where'd you get that? Well, I'm afraid that's all the time we have to chat. Now, for the matter at hand. I asked you to meet me here because I had have business as Palais 
Palais Marmonia. It has nothing to do with you, but I think it would be prudent for you to stick by my side for the time being. It will always be time later to run off and tell Linny about what you learned. I mean, listen, if you want to have me by your side, I would gladly stay for as long as you want me. Well, time to go. Looks like we wrapped things up just in time. <sighs> I have one hell of a crush, yes! I don't... I... I don't know! I can't even... I don't even know what I'm supposed to say about it. Uh, but like, she's so cool! There's so many things that are so cool about her. Ugh. Okay, where to? Am I going through here? No. Are we going to Nouvellet's room again? We. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Cry! Don't I? Mm. You know I can't handle cri yeah, criticism. Uh, no, that's not the, what I was trying to say. I can't handle cr compliments, <laughs> which I know is probably why you do it. Anyway, and yeah, going to the stores. Um, uh, I understand why, because it's like it looks like it would be in that direction. Anyway. Um, it's been a while, Monsieur Nouvellette. I must say, I wasn't expecting my meeting request to be approved so quite so quickly. The Palais Marmonia operates with an efficiency worthy of admiration. It's all... <clears throat> <coughs> it's only right that an esteemed diplomat such as yourself should be afforded the proper level of respect. Although I may, if I may speak plainly... I must confess that I did not anticipate we would have the occasion to meet again after presenting you with diagnosis. I see you brought no unemployment with you as well. If I may inquire as to the purpose of your visit, I'll be departing from Fontaine shortly. No, don't leave. Please stay. There is, however, an outstanding matter that I would like to see resolved before I go. <clears throat> it requires a rather lengthy explanation. I take the liber liberty of explaining everything in this proposal. Please review it at, at your leisure, Monsieur Novillette. I could go with her? Yes, yes, Hilary, I could go with her. Listen, if she'd let me, I'd follow her any anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I could carry her bags. It'd be fine. I won't do anything else, but... She's so cool, though. So cool. Is that all... she went here to do? <laughs> oh, we're having a tea party. Deadly cool. Yes. But, like... I have a type when it comes to fictional characters, and it's women who could kill me. So, you know. <laughs> kind, ruthless women who could kill me. And I think she fits that perfectly. Not saying it's... that that's how my crushes go in real life, thankfully. Um, but in fiction, yes. Well, you know m better than most people, honestly. Hmm. I understand your request. However, at the risk of causing offence, I must admit that I fail to see why you would wish for such a thing. Oh yeah, please never do any... Oh man... Sorry. Pezuk! <laughs> why? I am not a heart attack! Ah. Uh... 
I'm glad you've eaten dinner, though. Good. I approve. <laughs> Look who's here. Um. Anyway, yes, please no shikis in real life. <laughs> Uh, why you wish, wish for such a thing? <laughs> I love that you're just screaming at each other in in the the chat. Please continue. It's ama it's amazing. Um, I heard that you have a certain fondness for water water taste. Um, Monsieur Nouvellet, so allow me to use water as an analogy. A family is like a large body of water, with countless rivers flowing in and out. As someone who watches over the system, I would hope that each river that flows from the source will eventually reach the ocean. Of course, objectively speaking, I know this is impossible. Most of the rivers will dry up along the way, disappearing into the ground and leaving nothing but a barren river bed behind. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Not all rivers are destined to re reach the ocean. <coughs> Sorry. Hiccups. <laughs> but I would not see their existence rendered meaningless. I believe the water that flows within them is simply meant for a different destination, like a field in need of irrigation, perhaps a glass of a certain water-tasting enthusiast. So is she saying that since I'm gonna leave, um, please take care of the house of the hearth for me, and be the person leading them, kind of. Be their father in my place. Um, did you get any of that, Luan? I know. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however. Few among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with tainted water. It may have been tainted at one point in time, but do not worry. I'll make sure it's strained of all impurities and returned to its clearest form. Yeah, it's definitely about the hearth. I seem to recall there being a transactional aspect to your proposal. Perhaps you could expound on that. If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nouvellet, I will gladly withdraw my force from Fontaine. Oh no, <laughs> cry, is it going really badly with your game? Or like with the team? Um, is that an exclama exclamation and a half? Four games and lost three. Aww, I hope you win the next one then. That seems annoying. Like, that's annoying. To, to that, that, that. For that to happen. Oh, words. Um, especially if it's like for, for a specific something. Apparently, my coaster does not want to stay in place. It keeps like sticking to my up and falling down. Um,. And, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. <clears throat> I presume you can take your, your- I can take your words to mean that in the future. Similar cases to the Arctuf assassination will cease and to cross my desk. Is that the person who was, like, experimenting on kids in one of the demos? Tartuffe. Tartuffe. Oh, the thief who, who embezzled funds from all those charities. I defense condolences to his family, but without any evidence, I cannot imagine how the House of Hearth might have been involved in his passing. Of course, if you accept my proposal, Monsieur Nouvellet, I'm sure certain measures can be taken to reduce the frequency of such trouble. You choose your words carefully, indeed. In that case, I'm inclined to accept your proposal. Many thanks for your generosity, Monsieur Nouvellet. Well, with this that settled, we should be going now. I took the liberty of bringing along two bottles of spring water from Shneshnaya for you to enjoy. That's so cute, though. <laughs> like, <laughs> you just, like, bring nice water for him to drink. <laughs> I mean, I, I think that's a really cute gift for like specifically for Nouvellet. Um I do hope I get a chance to hear your impressions. Perhaps at our next next meeting, yes? 
Indeed. <clears throat> I trust you will not overlook your commitment in the meantime. All right, Luan, Paimon, let's go. I know I've seen some of the I'm I'm honestly scared of my own reaction when we get to the other form of her. Ugh. I don't know how I'll handle that. So, um, what exactly were you talking about back there? I went on heard you mentioned some rivers, a large body of, water, body of water, and then some kind of irrigation scheme? You really want to know? I would imagine there'd be more pressing concerns at the moment. Oh, Renee, I really hope everything's going okay. Paimon recognizes that look. You've got your thinking cap on, on haven't you, Luan? Denise may seem relaxed, but she didn't seem to be joking earlier when she said those who betray the organization may, must pay for their lives. I think she's serious about punishing those kids. How should we stop her? No, there's something else we should figure out first. While we were talking in front of the Palais... Narmonia, she mentioned Clary's name. Does that mean she knows where Clary was this entire time? Maybe she even anticipated how Lene and the others were going to act. It's that she knows... Ouch. Ah. Oof. Shoot. Are, are you alright? Oh, jeez. I'm so sorry. I was so focused on selling these papers. I wasn't looking where I was going. I was, I, my bad, I also wasn't paying attention. Well, let me make, make it up to you at least. Here, take this pa paper. On the house. Is it on the house house? Looks kind of familiar for some reason. <gasps> One of the people who was supposed to be murdered! Or like from the execution list. What was his name? I don't remember his name. Anyway, but it is him, right? Oh, Ayloui, don't just laugh at me. <laughs> I mean, please do, but like... <laughs> oh, you don't have to give us anything. Please, I want to. It's not like I'm short on supply. All the extras will be useless by come tomorrow anyway. It's my fault, really. I was just trying to bring some home some extra mora for the family. I mean, yay, I'm glad I'm right. Thank you <laughs> for, for confirming it, Ayloui. Alali. Ah, words. I'm wondering if it's literally to the family. Like, because didn't someone want to, like, leave to start a family or something? <clears throat> but I bit off a, more, a bit, I bit off more than I can chew. I haven't had many takers today, so I'm still swimming in papers. Swimming in papers. Feels like it would be incredibly painful. Like, how many paper cuts would you get? Like, genuinely now. What's going on here? Nothing much. I just ran into your friend here on accident. I should probably get going, actually, so... Bye! Loads of cuts. <clears throat> Hold on. Um, of course. I'm happy to compensate you with Nora. It's just, I don't have any on me at the moment. I'll take three papers. Here, your payments. Oh, thank you for your pay patronage. <laughs> oh no, did you lose again? Cry, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> what's wrong is my ability to speak. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> your sanity is gone. I'm so sorry. I hope ah, we can restore some of it over here. So to be fair, that's... Probably not gonna happen. But I hope at least it will soothe. Soothe your mad soul. Um. 
Oh, thank you for your patronage. May the Arkans bless you with good fortune. <coughs> Boys. <coughs> why is he gone? <laughs> I think I was starting to get a cold before. That's why I probably had a fever yesterday too, but yeah. Um, if only I had a chance to run into such generous customers every day. Uh, I should probably just take one s on a smaller inventory though, right? I'm getting, getting married soon, so sometimes it's hard not to get ahead of myself. Anyway, I should head about. Goodbye. I am feeling better. And I think because I, I took a... We are definitely not getting married. Cry. <laughs> but that's also like, I don't want to get married, ever. <laughs> So that's not- that's nothing to say to you. I just- I'm not the marrying kind. <laughs> I appreciate the offer though. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> oh, it's cries? Oh, like crystals? Cool. Like Chris. Chris! Okay, lovely. Thank you for correcting me as well. I appreciate it. Yes. Um, anyway, yes, I am feeling better. I took some medicine this morning too. And then I just, I slept for like 10 to 11 hours this night. So I think I am feeling better. Um, well, now that my affairs are settled, we should take that boat back to Poison. We even acquired some light reading to enjoy along the way. I, yeah, it's just like I saw the first parts and I was like, oh, cry, like you're crying. I was like, that's cool. Um, Chris, lovely, thank you. That actually makes a lot more sense than cry. <laughs> um, actually, why don't we stick around for a little longer? We can have some snacks, go for a stroll, it will be a perfect date. I wouldn't just realize how hungry she is. You're always hungry, my mom. They can't head back to Poisson on an empty stomach. Looks like Paimon's trying to buy some time. If we head back now, I doubt Linny and the others will have made any progress. What should we do? It appears you two are under the impression that delaying our return will somehow alter the situation in your favor. I'm sorry to ruin your fantasy, but your efforts are meaningless. Honestly, I just want a date! <laughs> that being said, I could be persuaded to give Linny sex some extra time. I just have one condition. If you <coughs> agree to my request, I'll even answer some of your questions. You're quite curious about Clervy, are you not? And my relationship to her. Wait, why are you being so generous all of a sudden? You're not gonna ask us to do something bad, are you? <laughs> you overestimate yourself. You don't have the talent for bad things. Um, then what could you possibly... The important... The most important consideration in a negotiation is that both sides receive something they want. Demands and threats are only get you so far. Your condition. Let's hear it. Wonderful. Here it is. When the time comes, make the choice that you deem most appropriate for the situation and lend your help, help to the House of the Hearth. We're already involved i was gonna say but like we're already invested okay sounds normal enough what do you mean when the time comes when is that supposed to be oh i get it i got it she means to say that when the time comes for the fight she wants us to, to side with the kids and not her so that the kids have a better chance to win ah okay i like her so much she's so Weirdly nice. <laughs> um, that's for you to decide. We accept your condition, though I do want to be on your side. <laughs> then we have a deal. Follow me. West complete. I love the dogs. They're so silly. Like, how are these not, like... <laughs> the most ridiculous thing? <laughs> <laughs> Follow the name to the name the nave to the nameless ruins. 
Yeah, we are going to those. She just wants me to fight the kids. Is that so? Do I believe you? <laughs> I guess we'll see. I mean, I do believe you in general. <laughs> but like... Yeah. The silly, po silly poodles are so silly. They're so weird, I love it. I don't like them cut like that in in real life, because they they look so much cuter when they get to be fluffy. But in the game I love it. <laughs> He's so cool. Yeah, I know you finished the, the, the quest when the day was out, uh, Tezuk. I remember you telling me. I do believe in you, but like, I want to believe in her too. <laughs> but that's just me being silly. Here's the place where she killed the mother. Oh yeah, Ayori, have you um seen the, the animated short? As well. What is this place? <laughs> Somewhere long forgotten by everyone. It used to be a grand building. Now it's nothing more than a pile of rubble. Nice. Okay, I'm glad you've seen it too. So you have the, the context. Um. Goody. Um. <clears throat> No one comes here anymore, nor does anyone care what, about what ha once happened here. Although this place does have something to do with the story I'm about to tell you. It was before I became a harbinger. A hairy bow! Before Linné and the others joined the House of the Hat. Due to certain events, I first killed Clervy, and then her mother. And this is where it all happened. You were the one that killed Clervy? Why? Patience now. Allow me to explain. He. <laughs> Damn. You, you, I know you played from 7 in the morning. That's commitment. And also, I mean, I'd love to join yours as well. Um. You were playing during work, Desert? Oh my god, people. Um. Allow me to explain Clary's side of the story first. I'll start from the beginning. Clary was six years old when she was brought by her mother, through Rukabina, to live in the House of the Hearth. From the outside, it seemed like a fairy tale. A thriving family made up of kind adults and friendly children. Krukabina was the knave at the time, and the House of Hearth was under her control. She was Clervy's mother by blood, but she was also the mother to all of the children. <laughs> um, sorry, <laughs> I was like, yeah, um, yeah, Discord can sometimes be a bit weird, but yeah. Clervy was happy here, for a time. But she quickly realized that being part of this family wasn't a fairy tale after all. It was kind of purgatory. Purgatory? Um, exactly. The House of the Hearth takes in war orphans from all over Terat. But as far as for how to raise them, that depends entirely on the person in charge. Rukabina came up with a novel idea. She would teach children to fight, force them to duel each other, and then crowned, crowned as the king of the house, the child proved themselves most worthy of inheriting her title. It's difficult to estimate the number of children who died or were maimed in the 
There's little I can say about the ones who died. The ones that emerged with permanent injury. On the other hand, well, they still serve the purpose. They would be handed over to the doctor to be experimented on. So it was Dottore in the, the, the book. Okay. Or sent away on a dangerous mission. Nothing more than tools to be used and then discarded. Well, those were the experiments Flurry was talking about. <clears throat> well, what actually happened to her? You said that Clary was Krukabina's daughter. So if Clary tried to convince her to stop what she was doing, Krukabina probably would have listened, right? Despite being Clary's mother, Krukabina cared little for her daughter. She forced Clary to join the House of the Hearth, only as a means to dem demonstrate her own impar in impartiality as a mother, to prove that she treated all her children equally. <clears throat> Clary did try to convince her mother to change her ways, but it was to no avail. After her efforts failed, the only other option was to raise, rise up and try to fight back. Unfortunately, the other children had already been thoroughly indoctrinated into the illusion of happiness Rukabina had created. Of course, there was one exception. Now? Chris, you okay? Cat? Do you have a cat? Chris! Oh my god! Uh, anyway. Um, someone Clary, Clary's ace who knew the truth about the House of Hearth. Her name was Perware. Perry? So you. Wait. The friend that Clary, Clary mentioned. Friend, huh? I suppose we can call her that for now. Girlfriend? Maybe? Like, there was something about the way they portrayed them that I was like, this gives me lesbians. <laughs> hmm. Clary was a cheerful and passionate person with a tenacious spirit. Her wear, on the other hand, was rather cold-blooded. It does seem like... Anyway, yes. Her cold-blooded cold nature allowed her to see through Rukabina's crusade. Yet it was also this cold-bloodedness that prevented her from acting against it. At least, at first. Um, while Clurvy longed for freedom, Beware was convinced that, amid all the fighting and violence, she would make it till the end. Despite their differences, the two became fast friends, united by their knowledge of the truth. Clurvy told Perver that she hoped to create a real family where no one would be killed or sacrificed. There may have been a certain naivety to her ideas, but Clurvy, Clurvy proved her determination many times over. She tried countless times to run away, ask for help, or expose the truth. But her efforts only earned her beating after beating. The only thing that kept her going was her strength of will. Even with her body wrecked with pains, she would still stand on her tippy toes and open the window at night. She and Perware would look out at the moon together, fierce longing for freedom shining in her. But one day, that light vanished. Oh no! What happened? Her hopelessness resulted from a cum culmination of things. Ten years had passed. Ten years worth of failure after failure. She and Perware weren't children anymore. But finding any chance to escape still seemed ho as hopeless as ever. It was during this time that Perware suggested a new plan. If escaping was out of the question, why not take down the very person sitting at the top of this throne of lies? Mother herself. <clears throat> Clurvy rejected that proposal. She claimed that as, as, fam as a famous harbinger. Rokabena possessed an unimaginable amount of power. Trying to kill her would have an incredibly low chance of a success. Clurvy never gave another reason. 
but her aware could see it written all over her face. Clervy still thought of Okabina as her mother. Killing her own flesh and blood was a line she w couldn't bring herself to cross. If she couldn't escape and fight back, then only one option remained. Death. Precisely. Death was the only way that she felt she could be free. Yeah, it happened during a duel. When she arrived at the dueling ring that day, her partner turned out to be none other than Perrer. The very person that had stood by her side all those years. It was a fierce battle, but ultimately, Clervy decided to let Perrer end her life. Okay, but can I, like, the book I'm writing, right? There's a line that if she kills me, if I die by her hand, even if I'm gone, we will be irrevocably connected. And isn't this that? Like, it fits in so well. I, I think I... Um, maybe I'm, I, I might be changing the line slightly as we go along, but whatever. From that moment on, Perwer's journey was one written in flames. When the rain finally came and washed it all away, there she stood, a sole victor in mother's endless games of slaughter, a trail of corpses strewn across her path to... It was the very result she had predicted ten years prior. Even then, she believed she would make it until the end. She wasn't surprised by the fact that she emerged as mother's undisputed heir. Rather... Success left her with an inexplicable sense of restlessness. She was unsettled, and there was only one thing that could quell that sensation. Perhaps you two would like to take a guess as to what it was. Killing the person at the very top. For Kabina, you mean? But, but... Correct. This is the place where Perer killed her best friend. A mere year, year later... There's also the place where she fought tooth and nail to kill the mother they shared. Also, there was like a year's time in between those two. That's interesting. It would be such a good anime! Sorry. <laughs> the moment she acted, any conception of what was right or wrong ceased to matter. It's one of the principles of the house. Only those who survive get a right to rule. The were won the battle and became the harbinger herself after which her majesty, the Tsaritsa, bestowed upon her a new name, Arlequina. So the we Clarby was talking about was you all along. You're a pair. Arlequina is just a name she, you got later. This was your story, just as much as Clarby's. I left that name behind long ago. I must say, hearing it now does bring back many memories. After I defeated Krokabina, the moniker of mother died with her. I chose to forego the title she herself called she called herself, and even chose to give up my own name. I rebuilt the House of the Hearth under new identity, not, not only as Arlequina, but as father. And that is where the story ends. Any more questions? The clever we met, though. Who is she, exactly? Yeah... Based on what you just told us, Clermy wasn't a little kid when she was killed. So the Clermy we met, was she really a spirit at all? I suppose you could call her an illusion born of flame. I'm seeing some... Um, uh, connections here. Her existence is like ashes to a fire. Something left over in the wake of blaze and ruin. You see, a certain power runs through my veins. It's not like a it's not unlike a curse. My flames leave behind shadows of anything they consume. Like the 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 smoke goes up and like makes shapes and stuff and becomes its own thing. That's so cool. Or Sure what? Did I miss something? <laughs> Sorry, Ilory. Of course, the chance of those shadows morphing into a sentient entity are extremely slim. Flurvy is a very special case. 
They did say her, her will was extraordinary. Clarivy died when she was 16 years old, but what emerged from those flames was her six-year-old self. Oh, okay. All good then. Um, her appearance wasn't the only thing affected. Most of her memories were lost to the blaze as well. Memory is a mysterious thing indeed. And they said it's... Okay, wait. So, isn't Leyline energy memories? Which also would mean then that Aralekino can, like, tap into it through the curse? Like, tap into Leyline energy? I'm just theorizing here. Losing a portion of your memory will alter your sense of self. Losing ten years worth, however, and it would be like living in the past. Like returning to a version of yourself that will never grow up. No wonder Paimon got such a weird feeling when we were talking to her. Perhaps I should put it this way. Clarvy is someone trapped in time. It may seem like she exists with us in the present, but she truly lives in the confines of her own past. So well, if all of that is true, then you must have known about Clarvy for a long time. Indeed. She's a rather volatile and unstable entity. Sometimes she would look after the children. She even saved some of their lives. But other times she would hide from me, become obsessed with revealing the truth about the house to anyone who will listen. Shadows don't have the capacity to learn or grow, and any new information they encounter is quickly for forgotten over time. Your attempts to expose Clary to sunlight, they failed, yes. The reason is actually quite simple. In Clary's mind, the house is impossible to escape, and it's this very perception that traps her there. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy, more or less. Oh, the names and the- ah, oh, so cool! Sorry. Um, uh, but no matter. All I have to do is kill her again, and all will be resolved. <laughs> See, now that's your drama talking! <laughs> I don't anticipate so much as a single speck of ash will be left behind this time. Wait! I can understand why you want her gone, but isn't there any other way? So what if she's trapped in her six-year-old self? She's still your friend. At least talk to her first. It's too late for that. She broke the rules, and so now she must be punished. That goes for Filial and non as well. I I don't know how to say these names. She's had quite the effect on them. I hope you understand the difference between Rukabina and myself lies in our form formulation of the rules, not our policy for enforcing them. Upholding the rules for that question is a trait we both share, because that is how a household should run. He's talking! We're talking! Is this really what you, what you want to do? Whatever could you mean? Don't you want to say a proper goodbye at least? Look at him. Whether as a killer or as, or as father, there are only two things that must be avoided at all cost. Anger and sorrow. Anger makes you impulsive. Sorrow causes you to waver. Well, it appears it's about time to proceed. Before we arrive, I've told some of my well-behaved children to bring our troublemakers here by nightfall. I do believe I've kept my end of the deal. I gave your friends quite a bit more time. As for what happens now, we'll just have to wait and see. Ah. Uh. Here they are, father. There's Clarvy in the shadow. Oh no, Twitch kicked you out! <laughs> that sucks. Well, we haven't gotten to the really kicking off part yet. Gonna execute them? Seeing something like that would actually be a first for me. Let me! Clarvy. I'm sorry. I heard about how you helped us buy some more time. 
But I still failed. I couldn't find a way to fulfill her wish. Huh. Are you... Harry? Indeed. It's been a while, Harvey. Harry! Shh. Stay right there. I'm sorry to postpone our reunion. First, I believe certain scores need settling. Oh my god, she's so cool! Ugh, I'm gonna have to fight now, aren't I? Is this where the, the outfit is? Harry! Father, let me explain. Out of my way. Father, you choose to conceal a threat to the house, and for that, you must be punished. After all, however, how am I suppose your wrongdoing is hardly the most egregious of the bunch. I'll deal with your punishment later. As for now, the more pressing concerns are the traitors among us. By traitors, do you mean us? Father, let me explain. We didn't mean to. Faults, why don't you share what you had? Yes, father. Secret midnight meeting number three. Participants, Gilliol, Nantuli, Soto, Tady. Nantuli clearly said, if only father wasn't the one who took us in. Soto added, I'm sick of this life. I just want to live as a normal person. Gilliol was the worst of them all. She called us crazies and said a bunch of mean things about father. I did not. You're... You're lying! Bolt is trying to frame us! It's not like I'm the only one who heard those things. After all, you and Taddy and a bunch of others started talking about Clervy. You were using all those things Clervy brought up as excuses to question Father. We are birds locked in a cage. The only way out is to destroy it. That's what you said, wasn't it? You little... You just want me gone, don't you? What did I ever do to you, huh? And you, Chaplot, have you forgotten who stood by your sickbed, watched over you and changed your dressings? Come on, let's hear it then. What's your reason for all this? You're wrong, Filial. We don't want you to die. You're our family. Liar. You wouldn't be doing this if, it, if that were the case. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? We all live in the house of the heart. Know the type of work we do, Filial. A single betrayal can cost a dozen of us our lives. It's not like it never happened before. That kind of thing is hard to forget. That's why the House of the Hearth can't, cannot tolerate, tolerate any form of betrayal. Ever since we came to Boisson, you've had seven secret meetings. A lot of things you talked about really crossed the line. <laughs> you've been spying us for, on us for half a month? Wait a second, now that I think about it, the move to Poison was just a way to make it easier to spy on us, wasn't it? Because we were all in one place. We had this planned all along. Filial, Nant Louis. That's not the name at all, is it? No! Sorry, there we go. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Oh, you both my life. I owe Clervy too. If it weren't for all your help after I got poisoned, I wouldn't be standing here today. If this were any other situation, I would do anything to repay that kindness, even if it cost me my life. But rules are rules. Sorry, my hands are tied. Why? Why? It's enough, Filial. We made a mistake and we should own up to it now. We broke your rules, plain and simple. And now we have to face the consequences. I'm sorry, Chaplot. Bolts. I'm sorry, Father. We accept our punishment. Chaplot, according to the rules of the House of the Hearth, how should these traitors be punished? All those who betray the House pay with their lives. And so it shall be. Why is there no music? Father, wait! Something you want to say, Lene? Please reconsider, Father. What Filial and the others did. How does it... No. How does it really count as betrayal? 
Oh, we, we all come from broken families. From the very first day we joined the House of the Hearth, we wanted nothing more than to make it a real home. But the truth is, none of us know what a real home should look like. I'm not saying I have all the answers. All I know is this. Killing Filial and the others may uphold the rule, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family than we've ever been. So please, father, please reconsider. I agree with Lene. Father, please. Lene, you... I also agree with Lene. An order, once given, cannot be resigned. Resigned? Is that how you say that word? However, given the extent of your determination, I suppose we shall have to go about this a different way. Draw your weapons and face me. Our weapons? Father, are you referring to a duel? Precisely. The rules of the house will not be altered. Traitors must be punished. However, resolving disputes with a duel is also one of our rules. One that can... One that also applies to me. Demonstrate a sufficient showing of strength, and I shall offer a concession. Wait, he brought her in a duel? Impossible. Lord is way too strong, even for Nay. And that's where we stop him. Um, uh... The card. Did you hear that, Luan? I think the others have to duel the knave. What should we do? Can they really win something like that? If they lose, those people from the house are really gonna be executed. Hey, are you listening? Is executing them really what she wants? Don't you want to say a proper goodbye at least? Anger makes you impulsive. Sorrow causes you to waver. Back then, she never actually answered my question. But that makes the answer pretty obvious, doesn't it? Looking at that expression on your face, you seem really serious about this. <coughs> Guess that means there's no chance she's throwing the duel on purpose, huh? There's no way the knave will lose on purpose. Although... When guests are in that, around, families are often on their best behavior. Any disputes are less likely to escalate. When the time comes, make the choice that you deem most appropriate the situation, and lend your help to the House of the Hearth. See? What's wrong, Luan? Hey, where are you going? Luan? i like to see for myself what the fourth of the Har Fadui Harbingans can do. You're asking to join the duel against the knave? <laughs> if that's okay. I'll allow it. We do have a ready-made dueling ring at our disposal. Uh, disposal of. And I would advise... All I would advise is this. Keep a firm grasp on your weapons and give it your all. Any less and you might just lose your life. <gasps> uh -huh. I'm weirdly excited about this. I'm weirdly excited about having her. Better Alekino than Dottore? I know, yes. Agreed. But I'm also like weirdly excited about I have her in the team. Oh no. <laughs> and I don't have a heal. Yes, I do have a healer. Okay. Cool. Yes, yes, thank you. Um... I, this means I basically have to fight with three characters rather than four. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, <laughs> Do some fire. Okay. Where are you? There you are. And we get the... 
This is why you build healers? I know, I just I don't have a proper healer at all. Look at her! I have the NRA now. Look at the... Oh, we get to do it! They're cute! We have a conversation with them in the middle of it! You had catching... Electro was unusable versus Raiden first time. Getting gear. That's so cute that they're helping. The MRE is this thingy. Wait, uh, who has the lowest HP? Yeah, I think this one I have. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Okay. This. Ah! Heal. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and voila. I love that we get like the chat messages from them. It's adorable. Where are you? Where'd you go? Yeah. Oh my god, she's so freaking cool! They're clearing a new... Right, how do I clear it? Uh, we do need more chat messages. Oh, that's not at all what I should be doing! <laughs> This is what I need to do, right? Yes. Okay. Ah! Is this when we get the- Oh, that's so freaking cool. Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with your messages too, but it's really hard because I don't want to die. And I also keep fangirling, so you know. Oh my god, she's so cool. <laughs> yes, we are fighting you. Ah! Look out. Ah! I just managed to avoid that because I went up in the air. <laughs> How am I supposed to? <gasps> I'm fineish. Look at this. Oh my god! She's so cool! I'm like... The boob window! <laughs> Hell! The boob window! I don't... Oh god! That took almost all my health! Yeah, um, Tezuk, second of that. I'm, I'm seconding. Second thing, your. I. Uh. Over. Over where? She is very strong. Oh my god, both of the freaking scythes? I don't know how I'm supposed to clear this.
<laughs> you don't even like women that way, but you, on, on, on the Gino did something to you. I, yeah, and I mean, I do like women like that. Ah. No, sir, chance. Oh, no. Ah. So, like, I'm, I'm just saying it did, like, double. <laughs> Use the fire resist potion. That's, yes, good idea. That's why I actually went in here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Anukino did every something to everyone. Yeah, that's true. She she's she's one of those weird people who she just applies to everyone. <laughs> I uh, yeah. Ah! You have an arrow ace friend who's not into women, but she's out the wheel for the Kino. That's so funny to me. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, that's close, but like, we're close. <laughs> I think Arakino did like extra for me because I just. She's already my type, and then she did this, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Should know better than the crowd in one place. You don't particularly like her? I agree, what? <gasps> no, they got hit! Oh, he... Illusions! No, it's fair. If you, if you don't like them, that's fair. More for me. <laughs> it's so funny that he always... It's like he's always using the, the base, the most basic ass sword, even if you put something else on him. Oh my god, this is like Avatar when Katara, like with the ice in the in the battle at the in the first season. <sighs> oh my god, the moon. <laughs> You do have a love-hate relationship with Tarty Ellery, I'm very well aware. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, no I'm not! <laughs> Hi! Dana. <laughs> I gotta be honest, scared is not the word I'd use right now. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so gay. <laughs> the scene was jarring, I'm just like, hmm. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> I believe we can end things here. It's not often that we get to enjoy the company of guests, after all. <laughs> I gay am Tezuki. Lovely. I great great addition of that that jokes. I love it. Uh, I can't speak. <laughs> Ma'am! Yes, ma'am! Even if you do that to me, it's fine. <laughs> I feel like it would be a bit, like, backwards. It's like, basically freezing someone in fear, and I'm just like, Hello! No, but I don't feel scared. <laughs> um. 
We wouldn't want things to get too out of hand. <coughs> I was actually... <laughs> the last thing was me. <laughs> Brother, are you alright? Um, Lene. No, that was her voice. Given that I am the victor of this duel. She basically gyps Traveler, that is true. Is she just a... Not female Yukimura. I don't wanna... I don't wanna think about that. Let's just... Nope. Out. Um, as agreed, the punishment stands. No! I never thought this things would end like this. However, everyone involved in the duel demonstrated a remarkable level of strength and determination. In light of this, I am prepared to change the method of execution. Erloy. She's definitely not Yukimura now. Um, the bottle flames I gave you for safe safekeeping. Do you still have them? Yes. I wasn't sure what they were for. But I've kept them safe. I didn't lose a single one. I can't spell either, it's fine. <laughs> we can we can be terrible at spelling together. Wonderful. Then in just a moment I'll give you I'll have you administer them. Bottled flames? Indeed, they're the product of a secret experiment. Under certain special circumstances, flames can be extracted from my person and preserved. Can I have one of those, please? Once ingested, searing pain will spread across every inch of your body. No harm will come to you physically, but your memories will be burned away. Well, that seems like an amazing way to end this. Luna, please, what? What the th what did I do, Eilary? Help! <laughs> In the context! <laughs> um... Because, like, then they can't give any information and, like, they don't have to die. I mean, I'm just saying, if I can have a bottle of her flames, that'd be kind of cool. <laughs> like, an everlasting flame that you could carry with you. It'd be interesting. Um... If you can withstand the pain, when you awake, you'll have forgotten everything you know about the House of Hearth. We'll be expelled from the organization. <laughs> I know you're supposed to be the fire otaku, but like, having an everlasting flame would be cool. Regardless if, if I, like, fire or not. Ah, fire. Indeed. Um, in other words... Administering this concoction will kill the version of you that grew up in the house, and give you a new identity. Be cool, cool, I told you. So that means the young man I thought looked familiar, the one selling newspapers outside the Palais Marmonia. It must have been the same. Oh, uh, that was the name, thank you. We saw on the list of executions. He wasn't killed at all. See, I knew there wasn't a different explanation to things. Memory is a mysterious thing indeed. Losing a portion of your memories will alter your sense of self. No, if my understanding of the knave is right, she really thinks of that as killing him. The horror that lived in the house of the hearth is dead. The one that remains is simply a normal person living out his life with his beloved. Exactly, and that's a wonderful solution. Even so, it's much better than actually ending their lives. Exactly. So you're just letting us go, father? You misunderstand me. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Chris. What do you mean by that? If I were a Likino, I wouldn't see daylight for the rest of my life. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you must understand. Memories are... <laughs> your basement. Please don't. Power, maybe. I just don't like being underground. I grew up in a town that had mines. And we were forced to go down and it was terrifying me. I don't like being underground. Even like subways. Yeah, no kidnapping. No kidnapping. Kidnapping will not be allowed. <laughs> mines are not 
cool. I mean, you've been there, but fine. <laughs> so you you're allowed to have your own opinion, but like, you've been to them, but I I don't I don't enjoy them anyway. Uh, once consumed by flames, uh, the version of you standing before me will die, and our sem secrets will die with you. So no, I don't intend to just let you go, because the person who survives will be nothing but a stranger. Even so, even so, <coughs> I I know I'm supposed to be sobbing, but I needed to go. F whatever, <coughs> I won't have to live in fear anymore. I'm sorry, father. Pizza, pizza chips or pizza and chips? Because both sound pretty good, honestly. <laughs> um, I mean, pizza crisps is, was a genuinely a thing in Japan, so maybe. I'm sorry I let you down, but I, I really... Don't cry, Filio. You haven't left the house yet, so there are still rules to be followed, yes? Remember what I taught you. Anger makes you impossible. impulsive. Zoro makes you waver. Don't let yourself be controlled by your emotions. Of course, I'll remember. Dry your tears and go pursue the life you really want. Do you not see how kind she is in a backwards way? Ugh. Yes, father. Chapleau, Holtz, Herla. Take them back to Poisson. And bring Linne, Linne, and the others as well. I prepared three extra vials. Vital, vials? Yeah. It's okay, you don't have to like her. I will like her instead. Um, in flame. As for whether to take them, the choice is yours. Goodbye, children. The next time we meet, I will no longer be your father. Thank you for all you've done for the house. I hope you have a bright future, Zed. I don't think they'll take it. Father! Let's go. Let's -a go! Here, grab my own Linny. Arm Linny. I'll help you walk back. Maybe she now sees that the house isn't the same as it used to be? Flurvy. Hmm. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Just me fangirling. Oh. Can we talk now? I've been waiting for a super long time. You really are pretty, pretty, aren't you? I haven't seen you in so long. How come you're all grown up? Wait, did I somehow travel to the future on accident? Or am I dreaming? What a long dream. Neither. You died, Clervy. That's what happened. You can at least have sugarcoated it a little. Look, she's done speaking us. If this is really Clervy's younger self, then I would say she probably had enough lies. Truly. There isn't... There isn't really... It's not kinder to lie, I would say. Oh, okay then. Huh? That's it? You accept it in just like that? Yep. If that's what Perry says happened, then I believe her. Perry wouldn't lie to me. Plus, I don't really know why I'm like this. I'm more curious about what happens in the future. If you're a harbinger now, Perry, that means Mother is gone, isn't she? Can you tell me about it? I want to know what happened to her. And to me. You never stopped trying to defy fate. At first, no one believed you. You could only vent your frustrations to the moon. In fact, you often sought comfort in the night sky. You wanted to see the aurora. So one night, we promised each other we would go to Shnashnaya to see each other. Later on, you tried to run away, but you were brought back each time. Mother spared your life, but it wasn't out of kindness. Instead, 
She decided to make an example of the you by slowly, slowly torturing you over time. That way, the other children would know what happens. <laughs> when I was a young boy, my father took me to the city. See a marching band. Why is that line so ridiculously long? Sorry. But yes. That way, the other city children would see what happens to traitors. Still, you never gave up. Mother hoped that through ruthless duels with after ruthless duel. What's what what is long, Chris? Chris. <laughs> That's so oh, um, the the fur the what's long is the. <laughs> it's okay. It's the song line. I think it's really long. Um. You, she would be able to crown an ultimate vi victor among the children she raised. But you called on everyone to unite. What else is long, Chris? Don't be- don't be naughty! <laughs> um... To fight to draw, draw in order to reduce casualties. Uh, your efforts may have only delayed the inevitable, but still, you gave them hope. You tried everything you could think of, but every attempt ended in failure. Still, you never turned your sword on Krokabena. You never turned it on me. On that gloomy day, you told me. For the last 16 years of my life, I've done everything I can to fight for freedom. But now, I realize that the only freedom I truly possess, possess is the freedom to choose to die. It's so sad! It's so sad! There's a, what I want, what, what started this, this song recital? I'm not against it, I'm just like, curious. Never imagined I would say something like that. I must have made feeling really worn down. But somehow, I still think I understand. It wasn't the mother's plan. The only one of us, only one of us was going to make it till the end. And I always hoped that person would be you. Even she hoped that. If I could do it all over again, I still don't think I would make a different choice. Even if... Uh, even when I first met you, I knew you'd be able to do what I couldn't. Is that so? Even now, I'm not sure I truly understand what kind of freedom you were trying to pursue. But, as the head of the House of Hearth and the children's father, I've tried to give them the most basic of freedoms. The freedom to choose their own fate. It's something I discussed with the Edex of Fontaine. The children who want to leave the house will have their memories wiped clean of all secrets pertaining to their organization. Traveler called that guy horror a young man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see. I see where you got it now. Horror. Um. They'll have their memories wiped clean of all secrets pertaining to the organization. In return, they will be allowed to live a normal life in Fontaine with Ew! without being prosecuted for the past life. You gotta go? Okay. Have a nice evening, Eilery. Uh, and your your brain went to that song. Understood. Totally understood. Anyway, please send me a message. Yes, I'm glad you were here too. Also, bye and let me know when you have time to call sometime, because I want to catch up. Uh, but yes, have a nice day. Good luck at work. Take care of yourself, yeah? Um, of course. I won't simply hand freedom to them on a civil platter. They have to fight for it, prove themselves worthy of, of it. Uh, only freedom that is earned has true value. Um, that's more than enough. That's exactly the kind of life I was fighting for. You know, Perry, I think you're a pretty amazing king. And a really great father, too. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm really happy that you're the one who took over the house. I guess I do have one regret, though. 
still haven't seen the outside world. Well, it just so happens that our dear guests over here have been to many nations, traveled countless places. Perhaps they would be willing to tell you what the outside world is like. Really? Of course! They've traveled all over the place. They've got so many stories. Yeah, I did notice that the, the previous name, name, Nave had a, the destined to die on the Memoram hair. Which is such a funny thing that just became a thing in anime. It's kind of ridiculous, honestly. I got so many stories, we could probably talk your ears off for three days straight. Talk about the land of... Talk about the land of an emu, nation of three freedom. That sounds like it would be perfect. Yes. It was so funny when you saw the shorts, huh? I can imagine, yeah. I was like, hmm, yes, that's the hero, right? You know, I used to dream of being a bard. Playing the lute while singing into the winds of freedom. Even if there was no one there to listen, I would have continued to sing no matter what. I can pick all of them? Heck yeah. Okay, sorry. I got too excited. Yes. Talk about you know, uh, Liyue. Oh, that's where Mora comes from. I never knew that before. <clears throat> if I had some Mora, I would buy three new dresses. One for me. One for Perry, and one for Mother. How is she still caring about her mom? Ugh. It's just too bad Perry doesn't like wearing dress. No, 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 no. She should keep the suits. It's so much better. <laughs> I agree. And Mother, well, she probably won't accept something like that either. I guess I just have to keep them all for myself then. I could wear a different one every day. Do it. Electro. Those yokai you mentioned, what do they look like? I once saw a drawing of this one guy with horns on his head, a super scary face. Are there any yokais like that? I need to remember the ghost we see her six years old. Yeah, but she would still have been mistreated by her mom. Like, that didn't start. Like... Uh, or I'm guessing, at least, they didn't start until later. I, I'm gonna guess she was treated quite poorly from the beginning. Hmm. And she's talking about an Oni, right? Are there any yokai like that? Oh, it sounds like you're talking about an Oni. Yep, we met one. And let Paimon tell you. They're not nearly as scary as they look. No, no, they're just himbos. It's fine. Talk about the land of Dendro, nation of wish wisdom. I was always too afraid to skip mother's fighting lessons. But at the academia, I bet you could do all sorts of secret, secret things in class. Things that have nothing to do with studying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Being able to study whatever you want without having to fear for your life actually sounds pretty great. <clears throat> you tell Clervy about all the various nations. So that eventually the conversation returns to Fontaine. <clears throat> the situation was super dangerous. Lenny and Lynette were accused of committing a crime. They were going to have to stand trial at the Opera Epiclus. <clears throat> oh no, that must have been hard for all of you. What happened? Don't worry, they were able to turn the situation around super quick. All thanks to Detective Paimon, of course. <laughs> How you do that? Come on, tell me! <clears throat> okay, so it was like this. After the failed magic show, we rushed to the scene and... Sorry, listening, listening really intently to Paimon's story about our time in Fontaine. She seems really happy, like all her troubles have been forgotten. Maybe this is the first time she's ever been able to truly relax. But I'm not sure how long this moment will last. Aww. Shadows don't have the capacity to learn or grow quickly. You wanna be father's chair? I can kind of relate, Chris. I'm like, yeah. 
also she looks so cool when she sits on it. It's so yes. Wait, what did you say, Tezuka? Tezuka, Tezuka. Uh, you bet. You bet. Detective Paimon has a French accent. You can be her footstool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, people are thirsty, and I, I, I relate slightly. Yes. Um. Shadows don't have the capacity to grow or learn. Any new information they encounter is quickly forgotten over time. As time passes, she'll forget everything we've told her and go back to being a scared little girl who can only hide in the shadows. Huh. I was so busy thinking, I almost didn't notice. That has risen. <laughs> uh, I called you Tessica, I'm sorry. <laughs> My brain was like, yes, that's a name. Um... Is she gonna, like, disappear into the sun? Like... Like something I recognize. Clearly. You worked... Why is there no... You worked hindsight from the shadows that withdrew the house of her. Now. By my authority as a knave, I shall announce how this matter ends. You are hereby expelled from the house of the her. You are no longer tied to this place, nor are you bound by its rules. You're saying that I can finally leave? I... I get to experience the outside world as well? Yep, you can go. I... almost forgot. There's no getting around it, or what's happening? Still, seeing who you grew up to be makes me really happy, Perry. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. May we meet again someday. Yeah, not at all tearing up. Harvey! You left so soon! I didn't even get to finish her story! Yeah... I'm just, like, happy they both got some kind of closure. And, like... Ma'am also got to talk to her. I also have, a s have certain sentiments left unsaid. I wanted to tell her that the aurora I saw in Sneshnaya was just as beautiful as the ones in the pictures. But a shadow's memories reset at dawn. Had we delayed any longer, we wouldn't have had the time to say goodbye. Whatever regrets may linger, let them be lost to the coming of a new day. Yes. Father. It's Lenny and the others. Hey, Lenny! Yeah. What's he doing back here? Let's go check it out. I love it that her quest is kind of also just like everyone's quest. <sighs> because it makes so much sense with her. And oh my goodness, do I need to go to the toilet? Why is it? Oh, it's eight. I, I might end it here today, actually. After this ends, of course. Father, the bottle flame flames have been dis administered. Fully all and the other others have left the house. And you? What have you decided? <clears throat> Thank you for giving us a choice, Father. But we never wanted to leave the house. It's the only home we've ever known. Lynette and Femine feel the same way. Recuperating back at the ho at the hotel Bouff? Buffet? Bet Buffet Det, maybe? But I tried to come back and tell you we were where we stood. I'm sure you're you're well aware of the expectations I have for you. I want you to follow in my footsteps and become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different ideas. I know I'm allowed to get up, but I'm like, we're in the middle of the story. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's so much happening that I'm like, but I, I, 
I don't want to end it now. I don't want to go away from the story until I'm like satisfied with it. Um, I must admit, admit, I'm rather surprised by your decision to stay. There's nothing wrong with choosing a, to live a quiet life. Leading this organization is a heavy responsibility, one not so easily carried by someone forced into the throne. I just never understood what you saw in me. What made you believe I was deserving of the throne? You're brave, talented, and most importantly, you cherish your family. You would do anything to protect them, even if it cost you your life. Get up and move around, would you, when you become affiliated? Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> when I become affiliated, I can do. I can have that achievement, or like I unlock the the thing. I mean, I did do it when I streamed for uh, Thankmas because that was like a five-hour stream. But like, this is like two hours. Fine, right? even if I drink. Like a liter of tea while I stream. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of bug, there was so brave of you, Nini. It's all thanks to you that we were able to convince Father to back down. You're a hero, Lenny. That's not the right voice I was using. Hero, Father, surreal hero. Had father gone out, all out during the duel, there's no way I would have walked away with my life. She must have had it all planned from the beginning, yes, from the very moment she suggested a duel. Wait, you have to get up to go to the bathroom every two, half an hour? That's okay. I mean, I, that's probably a good thing, but I mean, for me it's normally a few hours anyway. I just... Forgot to go before I started streaming. That's my fault, though. Um, so. I'm, I'm not. I mean, I used to not go to the toilet for the entire... Oh, to stretch legs? That's, yeah. I mean, I stretched them out underneath the table. <laughs> it's really nice now, though, because, wait. I'm still on the floor, but, look, I got the... Chair ish. That's like the legs are cut off. But that means I can actually lean back against it. Um so it's actually very nice now. I feel like I can uh, like I have more options to how to sit. And like like my back gets less um tired. Um yes. Apparently my flatmate had made it for herself before, and she was like, do you want it? And I was like, yes, <laughs> let me lean on something. <laughs> uh, when I stream. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, she must have planned it all from the beginning. From the very moment she suggested a duel. I'm not deserving of that title. I'm not strong, in strong enough or smart enough. Not yet, but you're a child. Almost, anyway. You're wrong. In my oppo oppo opponent, in my opponent, in my opinion, all you need to dis be deserving of the throne is conviction and the necessary strength to act on it. My flatmate does not typically watch my streams. I, I mean, I tell her when I stream and stuff, but like, she's just gotten home from work at that time, so she normally like jumps in the shower, <laughs> uh, gets something to eat, like that kind of stuff. And also, she doesn't really watch games a lot, so I don't blame her. Um, right, yes, I written that, read that one. We may have different ideas of what it means to be a family, but you can hardly be said to lack conviction. What you truly lack is strength. For someone of your talent, though, that's something that will come with time and experience. Even without that strength, you still chose to face me in a duel, even though the odds were stacked against you. That capacity to honor your convictions is what I truly see in you. Yeah, father. No one knows what the future holds, what tragedy or triumph may be in store. Being the head of this organization requires the strength of will to face whatever comes. Ew. Caution will only hold you back. If reaching to a certain standard... 
reaching a certain standard where it required to go after what you want, I would never have succeeded in killing my predecessor. Back then, there was still a considerable gap between our abilities. Until there wasn't. <laughs> it's like, when she got like cool like that, like coldly angry, that was A, so cool and really shows like, oh, hello, you're so close now. <laughs> Strength may decide the ultimate victor, but those who, who let the lack of strength dictate their, their decisions or in, undermine their convictions will never be worthy of the tr throne. I understand, father. Thank you. Children must grow up to surpass their parents. Only then can a family continue to flourish. Yeah. The road ahead is not an easy one. So I'll ask you one last time. Are you certain you want to stay? She cares so much about these kids! You've done so much for me, father. And that kindness must be repaid. Plus, with Project Stusa at hand, there are many dangers ahead. I, for one, don't think to back down. Protecting my family at all costs. That is my conviction. And you're welcome to stray stay. As for Project Stutza, Stutza, you need not be too concerned. If those cowardly businessmen and heartless dignitaries try to take us down. She's the best, unlike the previous name. Yes. She was like, I went through trauma. I will use it to be a better person, <laughs> which is honestly all you can strive to do. Uh, and heartless dignitaries try to take us down. I'm prepared to teach them a lesson. Having members who longed for the light was our organization's last weakness. With those members no longer among our ranks. <laughs> Press! Ah! <laughs> Unfortunately, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh my god. Chris! <laughs> um, with those members no longer among our ranks, the House of the Herb is like a spider hiding in the shadows. We need only wait for our prey to come to us. At present... Oh, so cool! Sorry. <laughs> I got so distracted and my voice got so high! Uh. Um, at present, our imper imperative is to use your plan to our advantage. In doing so, a crimson moon shall rise amid the frigid blizzards of winter. No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded, and no sacrifice shall be in vain. He's saying she's the blood moon, right? The crimson moon. As for the two of you, whether we meet again as friend or foe, I'll remember the camaraderie and we shared in this moment. Yes! Please be friendly in the future! Also, Blue Window! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No matter the, how orderous, orderous the journey ahead, I hope we both reach our desired destination. Hello, stream! Hi! Um, yes, I, I think I might end it here for today, though. What, how long is it left of the, the, this, is it like just the, the finishing conversations, kind of? Or is there more to the quest? I somehow... Chatter on stream? Yes. <laughs> I did it. I don't know why, I was like, I'm just gonna send something. Um... It's the ending, okay. Yeah, I might just... Uh... Kind human. I think that's you, Tezuk. I think you're the kind human. No, that's not the right one. Uh, wait for two days.
Yeah, I mean, it makes sense that your uh, EU account wouldn't be as high up, considering you're mainly Asian <laughs> server, and you live in Asia and stuff. Makes sense. I mostly have Asian as well, because I have friends in Asia. Like you. Like my Japanese friends. Uh, go see your friends at the Hotel Uffedet. Uffedet? Whatever, however you say that thing. I should really ask my mom, she was a French teacher. I could be like, hey, by the way. How do I say these words? <laughs> Help me, mother. <laughs> I love that I get to walk, like, have her in my team. How are you feeling? Apparently better than my voices. I might have to <laughs> quit with the voices in a bit. Much better. <laughs> Ew, that's a relief. What about you? Are you alright? I'm right as rain. I knew you'd come out unscathed. Us, on the other hand, well, we've been bedridden for two days. Couldn't even turn over. <laughs> the only time I've had issue with that is when I cracked a rib. <laughs> then I had issues um, turning over when I slept. But like... Ouch! Did, you, she, did she really beat you that hard? Oh, and I wanted to ask, is Clervy gone? Pliny and the other members have left Poisson and returned to the House of the Herd. According to him, there haven't been any more sightings of spirit roaming the house. Where is the actual? Ignore your achievements on your profile? Like the amount? Now I need to check. Don't say that, don't give me incentive, because I wouldn't have known to check it. Maybe if you replay everything on the EU, you might find your your uh, love for the game returning, Ezuk. Maybe. It's not impossible. Hmm. Where is the actual House of Hearth? I want to know. I guess that is like a secret place, but they could tell us, right? According to, according to him, there haven't been any more- oh, yeah. We bid her farewell under a blanket of sunlight. I see. I'm glad. Father came to check up us on, on us two days ago and told us about what happened with Krukabina and Clervy. Actually, I... I've met Krukabina before. Wait, really? Is it... It's... It, this is it. it. So the hotel is the actual house of Earth? Okay. Wait, how have you met her? Is she also a ghost? Wait, what? You met the former name? Rukabina died a year after Clerby. It was during the year between their deaths that I joined the House of the Hearth. Wait, really? You poor child. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Rukabina had an extremely cruel and radical way of doing things. Chris, now I need to start looking at your poor profile. What are you doing? While she was alive, the atmosphere in the house was suffocating. When I joined, though, the experiments she valued so much... And Miko. I see what you're doing. So much had already come to an end. And all the people involved, dead or injured alike, were gone. Rukabina never talked about the past with us newcomers. A couple months after I joined, father killed Rukabina and buried all her files. With that, the names of all the people subjected to her experiments, Thurby included, were lost to the flames. Oh, burned, not buried. Um, along with the painful memories they represented. Father took in Lene and me a couple of months after that, but she never mentioned anything about Krukabina or Clur- Hmm, it really seems like something she was planning to keep to herself. Yeah, I think so too. 
I love I love Feminist little beret. It's so cute. The last time you talked to her, did you mention why she kept it a secret for so long? She said she didn't want us to be affected by the darkness of the past. She was worried we developed a far false sense of gratitude towards her if we knew about it. The foundation of family should be free of any corrupting influence. Whatever happened in the past, it has nothing to do with who we are now. That's what father told us in the end. But I still thanked her for everything. It was only after hearing about what Krukabina did that I finally realized how insignificant our lives could have been. The members of the house meant nothing to her. To say that she valued them in any way, even just as tools, was probably giving her too much credit. Probably. If father hadn't taken over the house of the hearth, I probably would have already... We saved you in the end. Father rarely brings up the fact that she saved us. She doesn't believe that being indebted to her is what ties us together. You, wait, can't you assess you still have another 5 gigabyte to download? <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, how? But, he, but if we didn't owe her anything, we would still choose to stay, because this is our home. We may have a, arguments or times when we felt wronged. Some people may even choose to leave, but as long as father is here, we will always have a home. Whether the path before us bathed in, is bathed in sunlight or shrouded in shadow, we'll follow Father wherever she chooses to go. Though, I want to say thank you for helping us make it through this crisis. Without your help, we would have lost a lot more along the way. Yeah. Oh, we didn't really do anything. Really. Just invite us back this guest and we'll call it even. Of course. We're at the time. Our human man... Kul, Kul, okay? <laughs> Every time I say the name, it gets different. <laughs> I actually saw them at a cafe this morning. They didn't recognize me. From what I could tell, they were drinking coffee and talking about one of the operas that started running recently. They seemed happy. If I had to take a guess, I would say they finally found the, li the kind of life they always wished for. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy! I got an actual hearth? That's amazing. Okay, so I think the next thing I'll be doing, this will probably be Monday evening, is the quest that unlocks this. Um. Because that seems relevant, and also then I can actually level up. <laughs> but yes. Oh, hello, Chris. Chris. Mm. Okay, it's gonna take me a moment, but I I'll get there. Uh, from. Oh my god, wait. See, now this is a perfect image to end on. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm. Oh, I do want you to join, but also I do really need to go now. Um, next time. <laughs> yeah, does that sound good? Then you can also play some more music and stuff too, if you feel like it. Only if you want to, though. No pressure. But yes, I check the builds. Okay, wait. No, I. Friends. Chris. She sits very nicely. Check info. It was. Nico. You have over a thousand total achievements. Is that all the ones you can have? Where is that? There's more? Damn, still. That's still so many, though. 
I. That's strong. He's strong. I am. Oh, well, damn. Great damage. Oh, look at the new birdie. And then it was Hu Tao, right? Wait, how many how many achievements do you have on your Asian account then, Dazook? Let me know, tell me. I can't look at that from here though. Oh my god, wait, Hu Tao's max HP is crazy high. What the heck? It's almost 40k. I I okay. Okay. Okay, I see. I approve. Oh, and the stuff of Oman. I'm looking at this, it tells me nothing though. <laughs> I'm sorry. Witch of Crimson Flames. I do know that's supposed to be good for fire. Oh, I do like this combo as well. The Hutao is adorable. It was the it's the only character I've gotten as a double. Without wait, was there something else? More than eight hundred. How many do I have? Where do I even see that? Achievements completed five hundred. Damn, I'm missing a lot. <laughs> I have less than. I know. Okay, thank you. I was like, I'm missing someone that you told me to. Uh, so I know. There we are. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Elemental monster three, three hundred and sixty. He's cool. And quick rate is three over. I mean, listen, your characters are just generally speaking, damn. This also. You use him in a dendro team, which is why they hit high M E M. Makes sense. This is really cool though. I am so behind. They Sino, Yelan, Nahida, and Kuki. Ah, that seems like it would be a very fun team indeed. Okay, I really need to go and go to the toilet now. <laughs> I love her little twitching, like the, the glitching. Oh, uh, anyway, yeah. I, I'm gonna end it here today. I'll probably stream, yeah, Monday night. Because this weekend, Nahida has 1.1k AEM. Damn. Damn. I don't even know what to say to that. Um. Anyway, yeah, I uh, this weekend is gonna be like doing all the the fun household stuff. Like we got a bookcase, so we're gonna build a bookcase, planting some seeds, cleaning everything, that kind of stuff. Which is why Monday, yes. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for today. It was super fun. I'm so happy we got to fight Ma'am and see the boob window and the. Uh, <laughs> look, Twitch, you're on stream. That you are. <laughs> Aww. Thank you guys so much. I genuinely, so much fun. Um, Yes, uh, back on Monday when things are a bit more normal again. And have an amazing weekend. Take care of yourselves. And just thank you, my stars. Bye-bye, everyone. Yes, okay. <laughs>